Nigel, seven side derby this weekend, one of the biggest fixtures in the calendar mm. for the supporters in particular. 20,000 expected, set to be a good afternoon. Well, it will be if we win it, yeah. <laughs> now, that, that's the most important thing. Um, yeah, big game. Um, one in which we were a fixture we were successful in last season, um, but they've made big changes in the summer and have uh, gone a long way to changing their identity and, and they've had a you know a decent start. Like you said, a decent start. I think they've kept three clean sheets in yeah, the yeah. first four games. So given the, the qualities in our attack, via the qualities in their defence, mm. it will be a, a, a very interesting matchup. Well, look, I think when, when you look at derbies in particular, you've got to factor in that how teams play and behave in a normal game um, can change, not, so, not always, but it will be very, very competitive and, and uh, yeah, we expect a really good game. Talked about the competitive, the competitiveness mm. there, the levels of commitment that were shown on Tuesday night against Luton Town, they're going to be needed to show, be seen in tenfold, aren't they, mm. on the weekend to, to, to match the occasion. Yeah, but uh, you know, in all fairness, the performances so far this year I've been pretty happy with. Yes, we've made mistakes, um, but the way that we've gone about uh, games, for the most part, I've been pretty satisfied with. Um, but you know, it's going to be. I always say it about Derby, it's about not it's playing the game. It's not about getting lost in the occasion. We have to enjoy uh, the environment and the, um, the atmosphere of the, of the derby, but we've still got to be able to perform. And that's, that's the, the biggest ingredient that you always need to have during a, a derby. Looking back to Tuesday, clean mm. sheet, that must give yourselves and the group some confidence going, going into this yeah. fixture. Yeah, it does, but it's uh, and it's something that we've not really achieved often enough. Uh, but that is something that we're working at. Um, it always gives you a better chance of winning a game, of course. But look, that as long as the players continue to work hard together, then that will give us all some some uh, hope for a positive season. It's been pretty relentless at the start of this championship season. Mm. The first couple of months are games every three days, it's going to be about managing the group and using the wider squad, isn't it? Well, it, I mean, look, we've, I think most players have uh, taken part so far this season, which is, it keeps everybody on their toes, but it also keeps everybody um, engaged. Uh, because it's, you know, if you've got too big a squad, sometimes there are too many players uh, being outliers, if you like, and so... Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very fine balance between uh, trying to keep everybody um, motivated and, uh, but, uh, you know, avoid injuries and, and suspensions, etc. So it's a, um, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. On team news, obviously Mark Sykes will be unavailable given yeah. his red card. Is there any other fitness issues or, or is the squad in relatively good shape as to... As to it, 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 it'll be more or less the same, um, apart from players who have got a bit more of a long-term problem. Um, and uh, but no, we, we, we'll be we'll be relatively strong for this weekend. And of those players that are longer term, how's that? Antoine Semenya getting on it? Yeah, making progress. Yeah. yeah, yeah, making progress. And um, but uh, like I've said before, no time, no time frames. And. Heading into to this weekend, what, what is your going to be your final message, say, for example, to the players as they as they walk out on Sunday? Well, not as they walk out, but it will be in, in the preparation. It's about making sure we get the detail right, but actually, it's about what we do ourselves. So we, you know, when you play against any side, you've got to have a an appreciation of what your direct opponents like and what the team's identity and style of players, of course, strengths and weaknesses. But ultimately, it's about being able to bring your own best game to the table as an individual. Um, but more importantly, the collective is what normally gets you over the line in games. And so, uh, we have a we have a good spirit within the within the camp. We have a uh, I think the the game against Luton showed how um, 
focus we were and uh, we have to replicate that as often as possible.